Voters heading to the polls in five states today from some hotly contested primaries. Right now, they're deciding who will face off in the midterms with control of the House and Senate at stake. Polls closing soon in the battleground state of Pennsylvania. The GOP Senate primary there has come into the national spotlight. The far-right candidate and conservative commentator Kathy Barnett is locked in a tight three-way battle with the Trump-endorsed candidate Mehmet Oz and the former hedge fund CEO Dave McCormick. CBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy is at Barnett's watch party in Elizabethtown, PA. Hi, Elon. Well, hi, Shep. This is the heart of central Pennsylvania, where Kathy Barnett is hoping that tonight will be her night. Now, folks are starting to trickle in for her watch party as they wait for those polls to close at 8 p.m. The swell of support for Barnett has upended what was already a wild Senate GOP primary for Pennsylvania's open seat, while the front runners, Mehmet Oz and Dave McCormick, were busy duking it out with a barrage of negative campaign ads. Barnett was traveling 1,500 miles a week across the state. And and introducing herself to voters. I know who Pennsylvanians are, and because of that, I feel very confident in my odds today. These are some of the best people within the Republican Party who are going to be coming out today and voting, and that makes me very confident. But it is tough to top an endorsement from President Trump, and that has been the key driver of momentum for Oz's campaign. Today, he went to the polls with his wife, and he took some digs at his opponents with this tweet. He said, Republicans can't elect a candidate who can't be trusted to further the America First agenda. That was aimed at McCormick, nor a candidate who can't win in November. That one was aimed at Barnett, who lost a bid for Congress in 2020 by nearly 20 points. And meanwhile, the Democratic side, the likely nominee, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is still in the hospital recovering from his stroke. His campaign said that he had a pacemaker and defibrillator implanted and the procedure went well. Today, Fetterman released these photos from his hospital room. His wife said he is feeling better, but that she doesn't want him to push it. Whatever thing they give me, I want them to add a week to that. <laughs> I want him off his phone and resting, um, but he'll be back on the trail soon. This is already one of the most expensive Senate races in the country, Shep. But voters here know that tonight is just the end of the beginning. Elon Moy, live in Pennsylvania.